Welcome. Today, we're exploring a small but essential part of mechanical engineering, the motor pump coupling. It's the mechanical handshake between a motor and a pump. Without it, nothing moves. A coupling connects two shafts to transmit power, letting the motor's rotation drive the pump. Why not just use one long shaft? Because motors and pumps have different lifespans, maintenance needs, and are often made by different companies. Couplings make repairs and replacements much easier, and they allow for a bit of misalignment. In the real world, perfect alignment is rare. That's where couplings shine. There are two main types, rigid and flexible. Rigid couplings demand perfect alignment. Think of a firm handshake. Flexible couplings allow for a little movement, like a handshake with a wiggle. Rigid couplings are strong but unforgiving. Flexible couplings absorb misalignment and vibration. Understanding these basics is the first step to keeping your machinery running smoothly. Whether you're a student, a pro, or just curious, knowing about couplings is key to understanding how machines work. They're the unsung heroes that keep factories, water systems, and countless machines operating. So, let's dive deeper into how these couplings work and why choosing the right one matters. Stick around to become a coupling connoisseur. Let's get started. Let's start with rigid couplings, the no-nonsense connectors. They form a solid link between two shafts, acting as if they're one piece. Common types include sleeve, muff, and flange couplings. Rigid couplings are simple, reliable, and require little maintenance if your alignment is perfect. But here's the catch. Even tiny misalignments can cause vibration, noise, and rapid wear. Use rigid couplings only when you can guarantee perfect alignment, like on a sturdy common base plate. They're ideal for precise, high-torque applications where timing is critical. Get the alignment right, and they'll run for years. Get it wrong, and you'll face costly repairs. Rigid couplings are high stakes. Master alignment, and you master the machine. Choose wisely. Now let's talk about flexible couplings, the real-world problem solvers. They transmit torque while accommodating small misalignments, parallel, angular, and axial. Flexible couplings use elements like rubber, springs, or discs to absorb stress and dampen vibration. They protect machinery from wear and shock, making them the go-to for most motor pump setups. But remember, they're not a fix for sloppy installation, just a buffer for minor errors. Push them too far, and they'll fail. Think of flexible couplings as your safety net, not a cure-all. Meet the stars of the flexible coupling world. Jaw couplings use two metal hubs and a flexible spider insert to absorb misalignment and vibration. Great for general use. Gear couplings are heavy duty, using interlocking gear teeth and a lubricated sleeve to handle high torque and misalignment. Perfect for industrial powerhouses. Grid couplings weave a spring steel grid through grooved hubs flexing to absorb shock and misalignment. Ideal for systems with sudden loads. Each type has its strengths. Jaw for simplicity, gear for muscle, grid for shock absorption. Your choice depends on torque, speed, shock loads, and alignment needs. There's no universal best, just the right fit for your job. Jaw couplings are easy to maintain. Gear couplings need regular lubrication, and grid couplings excel in tough environments. Match the coupling to your system's demands for best results. The right choice keeps your machinery running smoothly. Know your options and pick smart. That's how you keep things moving. Let's look at three more flexible coupling designs. Disc couplings use thin metal discs to transmit torque with zero backlash, ideal for precision and high-speed applications. Tire couplings feature a rubber tire element excelling at absorbing vibration and handling large misalignments. Great for pumps and fans in rough settings. 
Oldham couplings use a three-piece design with a floating disc, perfect for handling significant parallel misalignment in compact spaces. Each design solves a different problem, disc for accuracy, tire for shock and misalignment, Oldham for parallel offset. Disc couplings are precise but less shock absorbent. Tire couplings are forgiving but not for high speeds. Oldham couplings are compact specialists. Knowing these differences helps you pick the right tool for the job. The right coupling means less downtime and longer equipment life. Choose based on your system's needs, not just what's available. That's smart engineering. So, how do you pick the perfect coupling? Start with torque. Choose a coupling rated for your motor's maximum output, including startup surges. Factor in a safety margin for shock loads. Next, consider misalignment. If you can't guarantee perfect alignment, go flexible. Check the coupling's specs for how much misalignment it can handle. Speed matters too. Make sure the coupling's RPM rating matches your motor. For high speeds, use dynamically balanced types like disc couplings. Think about shock loads, installation space, and maintenance. Some couplings are easier to service than others. Balance performance with cost. Don't just buy the cheapest. The right choice keeps your system safe, efficient, and reliable. Even the best coupling can't fix poor alignment. Always start with precise alignment using proper tools. This extends the life of your coupling, motor, and pump. Regularly inspect for wear, cracks, or unusual noise. Catching issues early prevents bigger failures. Some couplings need lubrication, gear and grid types especially. Follow the manufacturer's schedule and use the right grease. For jaw, tire, or grid couplings, keep spare flexible elements on hand. They're cheap insurance against downtime. Good maintenance is simple. Look, listen, and act quickly. The right coupling, properly installed and maintained, is the key to reliable machinery. It's a small part with a big impact. Choose wisely, align carefully, and maintain regularly. That's how you keep your world turning. Thanks for watching. Now you know why couplings matter. Stay curious and keep those machines running. Until next time.